What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So I got the Habao Hyper MT Plus 2. So go ahead and let's get a run in and then at the end I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's get into this. Just getting warmed up. That's warmed up. All right, the body. Let's get that thing fixed. Oh, man, that battery. That keeps popping out. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Give you a little bit of insight as far as to my take on it, but I want to give Habao a big shout out for sending this vehicle to me. Thank you Jennifer as well, she's our, our rep. And so we do sell these vehicles anyhow. So if you're looking to buy one, I'll put a link in the description below. We do These do come in a few different models. They come in the silver like you see here right now, which is the RTR. They come in a blue one, which is another RTR. And then they do have an 80%. 80% which is going to be where you just put your own electronics in it and you got to paint the body itself But anyway, let's get into this thing what I thought about it uh, as far as the body goes first of all I think it's super rugged I did land on the roof a few times and all was well with it It does have like a little crack down at the bottom here, but for bashing and crashing and all that good stuff it held up well and So let's get this thing off of here and take a look underneath it that little spot right there That was already there from factory. I believe so. I mean at least when I received it It was already there so nothing that uh, I did as far as when I was jumping it There's a little spot right there nothing major so all in all good truck good body that's on there Now as far as the batteries that I used in it these venom batteries 500 or I don't know why I keep wanting to say that but anyway, it's the 5000 50 C you see it right there and there's the graphene batteries uh, I did have them with the XT60. I just did a storage charge, so that's why they have this little adapter that's on there, which is nice. And I did go ahead and solder up some other adapters to go from an XT60 to an XT90, since they have the XT90 straight out of the box, which is cool. Now, speaking of cool, this thing ran pretty cool. It was I was using this little uh, whatever, temp tester, what have you, infrared, 
and it only was up to 108 degrees, which is great because the fact that it, in Florida here was already 90 degrees to start out with. So all in all, not bad at all because I was already I was sweating it up just running this thing, and so yeah. Now when it comes to this pinion gear, this thing doesn't like the pinion gears. Apparently, I've tried different Loctite. I've waited a week for this thing to cure. Uh, when I first ran it, the pinion gear came off, the stock one, which is a 16 tooth. I was running it, there was, I was at a dog park where I typically go, and it fell off right in the ditch where I could never find it again. So I was like, all right, let's do this, we'll do this again another time because I didn't have any other pinion gears with me. So then I put a 14 tooth pinion gear on there, new Loctite, came off. So I was like, all right, I don't know what the story is. I'll go ahead and put, but at least I found that one. So then I went ahead and bought this one. This is a Robson Racing one. Put that on there, waited a week for that thing to whatever cure or whatever. And it came off again at the, but at least I got some runtime in there. So yeah, that's that kind of sucks. I'm not really sure what the story is. I've done hundreds of videos now and I haven't had this problem. So I'm not really sure what the story is with it. You know, maybe I just use, need to use red Loctite. I don't know what it is exactly. But anyway, you guys can leave a comment down below. Let me know what your take might be on that. But uh, it might resort to <laughs> red Loctite so it doesn't come off. Uh, speaking of come off, this thing, the battery trays, they did come out a few times, uh, which was kind of, kind of sucks. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It did come out a few times, which I'm like, I don't understand why they have battery trays that come out. I don't see, I mean, I'm not going to take the battery tray and bring it over to my charger, you know, to charge them up. I mean, I use those batteries for other vehicles as well. So I don't see there any convenience factor, convenient factor. I see it really, the Velcro straps are my convenient factor right there. I don't have to put some little bar or have to conform to what they allow to a fit. So that's why the Velcros are nice. But it does have some little screws that are here. So that way I can, I'll probably put a screw in there and maybe epoxy it or something like that. I just would like about to, if they're gonna do any upgrades to it, a little slight changes here or there. I would just say, just make this so this doesn't come out because it seems to be, to me, it's an issue with mine. Maybe your issues with your vehicle, you know, your about might vary. So, but in my case, that was what happened with mine. They came off from the top if I landed on my roof and even when I flipped them around and I was jumping and landing on all four, it wasn't until the very end that one of the battery trays did come out from the bottom. So it's gonna be an issue. So if I'm jumping it, you know, unfortunately you do land one, sometimes you land on all four, sometimes you land on your roof and needs to be able just to stay in there. So yes. Uh, as far as weights go, it's got 500K in the center. It's got 100K in the front and I'm using 70 weight for the front and rear shocks because of the fact that at least the shocks too, they were pretty, the weight was pretty watery more or less. It wasn't really thick at all. So even when I was just running on road, it, it squatted down, it squatted down just like that, just under just a, you know, normal run. Yeah, because it wants, it wants to really wheelie, which I don't really care for that much. But anyway, it squatted down and scraped the bottom, which is like, ah, man, I didn't really want that to happen, but it, you know, it's gonna happen. But it did scratch this up here, but you know, running it on the grass, I mean, of course, who cares? Cause it's not gonna scratch unless it hits some little rocks that are in the grass. But anyway, that's kind of that. And let's see if there's anything else. No, I mean, the radio itself, I mean, these are Habao radios. They're great. I don't have any problems with them. Nothing fancy, but they work well. I haven't had any problems with them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's that. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We got loads of stuff that's on there. It's changing. I got to actually update the website again. There's more stuff that's coming as far as more plastics and stuff like that models. And there's some other stuff that's coming as well. We, but there's loads of different brands. So if you guys haven't checked us out, definitely consider checking us out at omgrc.com. We have all the different manufacturers right on our homepage. That way you can kind of scroll. They're not in alphabetical order, so they're random. So that way you got to kind of look. So anyway, that's that. Appreciate you guys watching. We finally got a Habao video, so woohoo. Anyway, catch you on the next video. You guys take care, and thank you again for watching.